Okay. <clears throat> Everything's working properly now. I think we're good. I should have had some coffee. I have some now, but it's a... Uh, running out. Everything's falling over. Okay. So, blocking out a tiling floor texture using Blender. <clears throat> and, oh, <laughs> hey, welcome back, man. <clears throat> so after reading the, the material a little more, figures i was doing something simple wrong so same thing start off with our plane i'm just going to scale that up uh let's do it three three times i'm just going to hit control a and scale i'm going to hop into edit mode i'm just going to add a couple of uh this thing in battery's dying already a couple of loops and just going to duplicate this face pull that up a little so that it's over i'm going to split it off selection and this is where i was messing up before so basically you want to select the square or tile i just broke off and then parent it to this one uh, control P object. Now, if I select the main plane and go to faces, it duplicates it over each face. Mode. Now, if I edit this, good. Geometry. Anyways, now if I divide this a couple of times, I'll do five. And if I break off Mapping on. I delete these. Should. Yep. All right. So now what this does is it basically gives us the ability to make a tiling pattern. And you can see it right away if it's tiling because it, it tiles it for you. So I'll just break off a couple of bricks. Go up one. I'll just do a two. There. Give it a four, two, six, and then we'll do one like this. And maybe a one. Go to one, two. That should work. This. There we go.
And now I'll just kind of split these off. So that they're their own brick. Now it's just kind of like a game of Tetris where you Oops, let me take that one. Well, you just fill in the gaps. What I mean by that is get this. Sometimes the snapping doesn't work as well as I would like it to. Let me uh, just. Make that unselectable. I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to give it I'm going to rotate it on B. There we go. I'll probably do that with this guy. Rotate it on the Z. Oops. I'm going to give this one a different color. From what I understand, you kind of want to get an equal amount of each brick. Two pink ones, two yellow. Through those of one of these, I should probably get rid of this one. Need one more square. No, because then it'll be right next to that. See what I mean? That there. Duplicate this guy. I need one more. I think that's us. I'll just uh, oh. 
move that here. And that's what I'm left with. I think I want to edit mode. Select all, through these. And I think I can go back to my first. Now let's bring that back to the. Uh, Go back. Let me select all these top faces. Each one of these different colors is going to be a different brick. That's my plan anyway. The workflows that I've seen do this all in Blender, and the workflow I'm going to use is I'm going to block it out in Blender, and then I'm going to take it into ZBrush and do my sculpting there. And then I'm going to bake out the maps in Marmoset and Texture it in Substance Painter. Let's see. I'm going to make this, set this to individual origins. Scale these faces down a little. Switch to edge mode. Select all these inside edges. So I just want to get the basic shape of the, the bricks for now. Give those a little bevel. Matte cap. There we go. Now you can kind of see what I'm doing a little better. Not the greatest uh, pattern. It definitely is tiling quickly. Like you can already see the pattern in it. Um, and I'll have to figure out how you get around that later. For now, I just wanted to to get an idea of, and a better understanding of, of how to make a tiling texture in general. Whoops. So I think that'll be a good starting point for me. Maybe, uh, maybe I should, um, See right here. I think if I take this one. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that sometimes. No. Huh. 
Find that. Oh, have it on individual origin instead of medium point. I think. There we go. I think. Okay, that messed it up. Doesn't make sense. Okay, didn't mess it up. I think. If I take. This one, I'm snapping off for now, put it here, rotate it. I think if I grab that one. Edges. Like that. Now, I think if I separate this, and I add a Boolean, Intercept. Difference. Okay, I guess I want the difference. The apply. All right. Only thing is, I don't have my bevel over there. I should have done that beforehand. Okay, no big deal. Just do a little cleanup. Yeah. 
I don't think I need this one. Ooh. All right, what's going on? Okay. Right. And then I can just kind of cheat these over. Doesn't have to be perfect. I really should name these so I don't get yellow confused. Okay. This one's surprisingly clean. Um, yeah, that'll work. I think what I'll do is I'll, oops, just kind of adjust the height on some of these. Maybe rotate it. Just so it's not so uniform. Maybe push one a couple down. There we go. Now it just looks a little more interesting. I think uh, join these. And I think we are good to go. Let me uh, go ahead and name this the uh, Rick. Quick pattern.
I think that that's ready to take in a ZBrush now. You know what? Let me uh, snap that. So it's all on the same level. Make sure all my transformations are done. Let me launch ZBrush here. I'll just uh, start with that guy. Okay, so see if uh, <laughs> Gobi will work for me. Go. All right. All right, it worked. Yay. Group that. There we go, that's a little better. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to start sculpting. Let's see what time is it? I think I might have to call it for now. Um, or you know what? I have a, I have about thirty twenty minutes maybe, but I don't want to I don't want to get started. I have to bail. Uh, let's let's just get it dynameshed and get it ready. So that way the next. When I start streaming, I'm just going to jump right up to 512. And then boom. That's good. I'll go ahead and get started on at least get one of these guys done. This thing. Let's see how it start on. Start on this one. This one's as good as any. Yeah, I think if I. I don't want to take away too much of the detail on this. No, I don't want to do that. Just kind of want to knock those harsh edges down. All right, there we go. And I love sculpting in, in general, but it's I really enjoy sculpting in ZBrush, man. Like the little Zen zone.
I don't want to break the silhouette too much. I need to make sure it stays basically where it is. Noise brush, where is that? No noise. Kind of add a little bit of surface noise to it. Really don't need the sides, but. A couple of negative ones. That's probably good enough for the noise. Get the uh, beach polish, knock some of that down. I want to knock all of it down. Long one. Polish is the way to go. I don't want to do a uh... What I've read is you don't want to make too many unique features. You kind of want them to be ambiguous. You just want them to kind of all bl look the same. Because anything that's super unique, any if there's like a very unique feature on one of the stones or one of the bricks, it'll be even more noticeable once it tiles. And it makes the tiling stand out that much more. There we go. That should be good. I think I'll just hit it with that surface pressure. There we go. Just so there's a little bit of noise on it. Down, get the good old orb crack brush out. Start a little crack on this guy. Let me see which one it is. Okay, so here.
Oh, my little computer is struggling. Might not have enough resolution. I really don't need much more detail than that. No, just kind of hit out the smooth the uh, H polish to really make the crack stand out. Probably not necessary, but it it definitely makes it. I think, anyways, that when you bake it, it just gives the normal map something to. Uh, work off of a lot easier. A lot easier of a time for the normal map to work off of it. If it's like really exaggerated. I mean, you're not gonna be that close. It's, I think that's a pretty good start. We will add some little potholes. Turn down the intensity because this bad boy is super intense. I could turn it up a touch more. Maybe even a little more. Here we go. I don't really need to put anything on the side, but I will. So one down. All right, so I think I, I'm gonna call it. That's basically the same thing I'm gonna do for each one anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna separate this one a little bit. Yeah, I'll do that right now. I want to shrink it down. I'll make it a little taller. I think I want to, uh, just bring the top down a little. Gotta smooth that into it, otherwise it'll give me some problems. There we go. Away with you, whoops. All right. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use that same workflow. I wanna keep them simple and not too hyper detailed. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. And uh, I think the schedule I'm gonna try to use for streaming, I'm gonna try to do around 10 o'clock on Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Friday so about three days a week just cuz uh, I just don't know how how well I'll be able to balance things with my new job cuz I I'll be stuck there I'm working in a restaurant at night um, if you guys are wondering 
That's uh, unfortunately what I do for now. Um, but the money's pretty good. Yeah, I'll be doing. I get I get off pretty late, so that's why I'm a little uh, concerned about my about time. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, around 10 a.m. Because uh, waking up much earlier than that, I'll be at work till 1 a.m. every day almost. Sometimes later. Um, but we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, I'll try to uh, maybe do a couple other days. And uh, I am thinking of doing a little bit of game streaming. Um, not necessarily just for game streaming, but I want to uh, get ideas from the game. Some of you who've been following the channel probably know I'm, I like stylized art and games. And uh, I just recently kind of got back into World of Warcraft with the expansion coming out. So I thought it might be kind of fun to look at stuff and see if I can make it in 3D on my own. Um, but I might just do that on like Saturday for an hour or two at a time. But yeah, that's a, that's a wrap for today. I'll get this uh, textured or sculpted out, and then um, we'll get it ready for uh, maybe retapo if necessary, and then baking in Marmoset Toolbag 3, and eventually texturing in Substance Painter. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, let me know how the, the stream looked and sounds. Um, I am trying a whole new setup, so uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, good to be back. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. All right, see you next time.